it's perfectly fine. Um, okay. Let, let's see, let's I see what I... I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all Is there just like a... laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? I'm still looking for all the computers, though. Uh, the ones that have, like, an input to enter. Oh! Okay, that's one. Okay. Um, right. I'm not going to take the bucket because there are some endings we haven't gotten just from like regular stuff. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. And Stanley right, like I remember well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, no. beautifully constructed, but Not eager here. to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his <laughs> left. Wow, Yuki. Yeah, pretty much. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. So I remember there was like a Look, door, Stanley, like two doors, right? Like a red and a blue door? Foot here. And I'm pretty sure I'm they were this way. Enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? So was, I don't was know this how here? to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your <laughs> side. Oh Give yeah, this. Now listen carefully, this oh. is important. Stanley Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. Four. And now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? A uh, Stanlerines better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. I mean Figly is, is the better name sure for sure, but me. Stanlerines sounds like Sounds so bad that it has to be that. We have to pick that. Stan Lorenz, I love it. Right, okay. So I always took the blue door. Let's let's try the, the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh? So I have to pick one. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. What in the world? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, let's let's go down. Whoa, look at all these colors. I think we're tripping. Yeah, I think we're tripping hard.
I can I can taste the rainbow. Can you taste the rainbow? You know it's green dots all over the place. Does it just keep cycling all the colors or like? I'm guessing nothing happens here. No, wait. Where are you going? I mean, I'm leaving the uh the the trippy part. What's that? Okay. Huh? Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. But why would I die? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Okay. Uh, so literally suicide. What if I go back? He's going to be happy. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. I love that the game reacts to what I'm doing. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me try to go back down again. I want to see if he reacts again. Are you... You are going to stay here, aren't you? Different dialogue. This is so cool, man. I really like this. I like the fact that, like, it, it completely reacts to whatever you're doing. That's good. I won't stay there, though. I, I mean, we are going to have to jump. He's not reacting anymore. Oh boy. No! Oh. Thank God. You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Oh my God. We actually survived the fall. No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? <laughs> Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Wait, what if I jump again? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Oh, look at that. I'm walking slower now. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? But you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. 
Am I reading the situation correctly? That's so sad! Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Oh no, he's so sad! Oh, am I gonna kill myself if I jump down again? What if I go, what if I go back now? Instead of jumping? I'm really walking slower now. I think like my legs are broken or something. Let's go to the other room again. I wanna see like how he reacts. I'm really, really slowing down. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Can I just jump down here? No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a choice. I have to jump down. Because it's not like the game doesn't progress if I don't jump down. I love that like the, the program dialogues for all of these like go back, go, go. Like every time I do anything, there's, di there's, there's like voice acting and dialogue planned for that outcome. That's crazy. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's jump down again. It'll probably reset. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Oh, that was... These two last ending we got, they were really dark. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything here. Because we still need, like, more figurines. But also, um... Oh. There we go. Uh, should I bring the bucket? Sure. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay. Yeah, that's like uh, where to find all of the... Nearby a fireplace, a private but smelly place for an important person. We, we know what these are. Yeah, the broom closet. I love Stanley, it. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, <laughs> you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. <laughs> but alas, no stickers. Dude, I love this. This closet is awesome. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Aha! You're getting close now, Stanley. 
You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll get the and Marines, one, And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Figler and Lorenes, I love it. Okay. Oh, the elevator! What happens if I go into it with the bucket? <laughs> oh, this will never not be funny. Stop me. What if there's an achievement to be like in the elevator for super long? What if what happens? This is so dumb. <laughs> let's get out. <laughs> let's, let's actually get out. That's fine. There's a computer here. I'm going to have to remember that because maybe this could be like one of those input stuff computer at some point. Do anything here. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I can just enter whatever I want and it doesn't matter. Like... Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. The bucket did not react. Except... Except 2845. I wanted to say something about the bucket, but it kind of got interrupted. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> well, whoop de do. Okay, this is this is the part that I wanted because there's an ending here. And uh, we got it last time, and I want I want to get it again, but with the bucket this time around. Oh! And there it is, the last Stiggly Wiggly. Stiggly Wiggly! Me, this is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. 
and now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Okay, so this is it, right? Like... Also, I can barely see anything. And I mean, that's fine. It's the, it's the whole point. But like, uh, I feel like I should probably... Field of view, color, controller cal calibration. Wait. Really? There's no, I can't. I can't change the, uh, the, 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 the brightness. Interesting. Yeah, so the ending was that I, I, all I did was go up and down the elevator. I didn't continue. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. The bucket said nothing. We're going to go and try press three. Just to see if something happens. And probably, probably nothing will happen, but... Let's try and press Here we three are, again. Said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Wow, he said. The number three is such a special button. I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. What, what, what if I... Boob. Or maybe, maybe it's supposed to be uh, eight, right? I thought maybe the game would have something for that, but apparently not. Okay. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. It's so dumb. I love this. A hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Should he demonstrate the number three for the bucket again? <laughs> yes! No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. It's so you and dumb. I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. Like, there was an ending here with like uh, a press conference and stuff. I want to see like if something happens with the bucket. Here we go, said Stanley. This time, I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know. And there was no the reactions one at all. What he was doing. Oh, thanks, I, 
Okay. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all, only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. That's so dumb. Let's go down again. This is the dumbest thing ever. Stanley and the bucket were so close. They'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the Evil elevator. bucket eats everyone? He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? <laughs> oh, it doesn't see anything anymore. <laughs> said Stanley. Oh no, I there it is. To do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference <laughs> where he would speak oh! to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. He would elaborate fully on what the number three meant to him and why he felt so alive when pressing it. Then the bucket would be able to see his joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react to this discovery of Stanley's. And it would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally understand Stanley's work. We did it! For months, he advertised and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it, until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. Okay, here we go. To the stage in a bunch of threes. This was it. One last chance to win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. Three. Three again. <laughs> so many threes. There was no one here. Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley speak. Oh, it's so sad. To to talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. He was unloved, uninteresting. He was a failure. And in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be no more games, no more long conversations about passion and pursuit. Only a silence that consumed the space between friends. And Stanley, having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. That turned around. Oh my god. That was that was kind of sad. There's something I didn't try doing. I didn't try like uh like whenever it's asking me to go in, like through a door. Like what happens if I close it? Yeah, I can close that one. What? Wait. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just it's those figurines. Those figlets. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. 
Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Sure. Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please <laughs> indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. Uh, okay. 